There is one hadith that some scholars have interpreted to mean the pre-Barzakh uh, era. <coughs> and that is the hadith in Sahih Bukhari. That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al-Arwahu Junudun Mujannada. Al-Arwahu Junudun Mujannada. The souls are like groups of armies or battalions of armies lined up. فَمَا تَعَارَفَ مِنْهَا اَتَلَفْ وَمَا تَنَاكَرَ مِنْهَا اَخْتَلَفْ رَاهُ الْبُخَارِي So the souls that know one another, تَعَارُف, even in Urdu تَعَارُف, مَا تَعَارَفَ مِنْهَا The souls that know one another, the souls that have ma'rifa with one another, اَتَلَفْ, they become friends. وَمَا تَنَاكَرَ مِنْ And the souls that, there's nakara, there's not getting along. There's something that اختلف, they have اختلاف. This is one of those hadith that we'll have to try to understand the best we can because it's a very deep hadith and scholars have interpreted in different ways. Some of them have said that let's just understand this hadith as being from this dunya, not pre-dunya, this dunya. And that some souls get along with other souls and when the soul gets along with the other soul the two bodies get along and they become friends and life is good and some souls don't get along with other souls and when that happens they're not friends they're enemies and that's a valid interpretation okay however a number of ulama ibn hazm amongst them and before al khattabi might have mentioned this ibn hajj mentioned some discussion about this as well they go even deeper than this and this is very profound and allah knows best and they say, perhaps in this world, before this world, when the souls were all together, some souls became friendly with one another. And when they find themselves in this dunya, automatically they become friendly in this dunya as well, because they were friendly in there as well. And some souls didn't get along over there. And so in this dunya as well, when they discover one another, they don't get along. Okay? Allahu Ali. It's Ibn Hazm's interpretation. And it's the, 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 the wording allows for this interpretation. That Al Arwahu Junudun Mujannada. Fama ta'arafa minha talaf wa matanakara minha talaf reported by Bukhari. And Allah knows best this seems to be the understanding of some of the Sahaba because there is a version of this hadith in Muslim Abu Ya'la that Aisha radiallahu anha, uh, it was reported in her time from after the death of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that there was uh, a lady from Mecca who was known to be like, we would call her like a, uh, a joker, you know, always cracking jokes, a practical prankster, something like this, right? She was known for this, always cracking jokes and being, you know, that type of person. When she came to Medina, the lady that she became best friends with happened to be the one who did the same in Medina. Okay, the same, that, her, that she had the reputation of always cracking jokes and being the prankster and whatnot. So when this news reached Aisha, she said, my beloved has spoken the truth. Sadaqa hibbi. My beloved, meaning the Prophet ﷺ, has spoken the truth. Then she narrated this hadith. So the context was what? These two people did not know one another. But as soon as they met, they became best of friends. How did this happen? Their souls had a connection before their bodies met. And Therefore, when they met for the first time, they became close friends. And subhanAllah, I have to say, wallahi, it's so amazing that sometimes you meet a person for the first time and within a 10, 15, 20 minute conversation, you know, oh, this person I will get along with very well. He's going to be good brother or sister me, sister. You know, oh, this is a sister. I can be her confidant. I can be a good friend to her. And sometimes you will meet somebody for 10, 20 times. And yeah, it's okay. Salaamu alaykum as -salam, good enough. How? How do you know instantaneously? This hadith tells us there's something that is beyond and that is something that the souls go back to.